there is so much power and mystery to the ocean and there's an undeniable draw when you are approaching the coast the smell starts to change and the sounds change and at least for me and I hope for everyone you experience a desire to get closer and to understand more. There is so much that we don't understand and we possibly will never fully be able to comprehend because the mystery extends beyond our knowledge. It's truly beautiful to be able to become part of the life that exists out in our oceans. To be able to swim and dive and exist briefly among that ocean and marine life is uncomparable. I truly can't describe any other feeling than for brief moments existing on just the breath in your lungs and being down in between shoals of fish and sea turtles and octopus. The marine life that exists here at Watama Marine National Reserve and across the entire globe is just remarkable and the privilege that we have just to exist alongside the very small percentage of the mammals and fish and marine life that we have identified and recognized is uh, unparalleled. My name is Michelle Feenstra. I am working with Arusha Kenya to investigate the prevalence of microplastics behind the Watamu Marine National Park and Reserve. This study is a two-part study, so there's the fieldwork component and the cataloging portion. Personally, I was motivated to um, become involved in this type of research because I had seen society starting to accept the presence of plastic in our natural environment and overlooking it as something that is not out of the normal. However, the plastic that is now integrated into our marine life, into our um, ecosystems of all types, has a gr much larger impact than we even can fully understand. And especially I am motivated to share kind of this message and motivation to help people think about their own consumption of plastic products and how they can mitigate their impact on our environment. Down the road eventually it would be very interesting to further investigate how our consumerism and plastic waste is actually impacting ourselves. So as it is entering the ecosystems and the ocean, there is an impact on the marine life there. However, there is also a full circle impact back onto um, our own human 
functioning in systems and that is something that has motivated me to get involved in this project which is again the baseline data to further understand what we are seeing here in Watonga, Kenya but ideally it will help influence policymakers and local populations uh, to sit back and reassess how we can all be a part of this um, issue that we are seeing. My name is Queen Elizabeth Hare and I am a Marine Environmental Education Officer working with Arusha Kenya. Um, I educate kids in schools uh, within the buffer zone of Watam Marine National Park. I educate youths, I educate fishermen and I educate women. And plastic has been a disaster. There is plastic all over our world or the earth is suffocating. And the reason as to why I think education comes first is we educate, I believe that we educate, we get to learn, we get to understand, we get to love, and then we get to conserve. Getting kids to participate in beach cleanups as a solution for plastic, one of the ways we can help the suffocating ocean because I see kids as future advocates. I see them as the leaders of tomorrow. Whenever I see plastic, I just see death. I just see the poor turtles going for a plastic bag thinking it's a jellyfish, and they swallow, and I, that's it. I look at the ocean as a blessing, and I look at the population right now, and both direct and indirect benefits that we get from the ocean. And I look at it in terms of human destroying it. It's so sad. Let's come together, policymakers, researchers. I do see that it's incredible for the work that is done. Microplastic surveys to get to inform policymakers and let people get informed and understand of what is happening. I appreciate that. I appreciate the ocean for what it gives us. Why destroy it so sad? Let's come together and show love for the mother ocean. Microplastics are bits of plastic that are between one and five millimeters. Um, they can be categorized as primary or secondary. Uh, a nurdle is the primary form of plastic, um, which is used to create secondary forms of plastic. Secondary microplastics are made up of four different types. So that would be styrofoam, film, filaments, or fragments, which break down from larger hard plastic forms. When we go do our field work surveys, we have 10 different transects that we have identified between Short Beach and Blue Bay. These transects are 100 meters long and we sample five different quadrants along that 100 meter transect. The transect is a 50 by 50 centimeter square and we dig down five centimeters in depth. These transects fall along the high strand so when we go out to sample we are taking into consideration the height of the tide, the width of the beach, the direction of the wind and the strength of the wind and what is behind the transect. All of these different variables are accounted for as they might be influencing the prevalence of microplastics that we are interpreting. The cataloging portion of our study is to determine from our collected sample what we have found out in that quadrant. Once we have 
collected this from the beach, we bring it back to our lab and suspend it in a saline solution. The plastic particles will then float and we can uh, collect them and isolate them to determine what form of plastic, microplastic they are. If that is a pellet, so a primary form, or again, film, filament, foam, or fragment. And once we have identified and cataloged and measured each one, we isolate them into these little collection vials which are labeled with the transect, the quadrant, and the date. All of this data will then inform us on what we are seeing out behind the Watama Marine National Park and Reserve and will help direct future research. The data that we're collecting is new to this area. There has not been data in this fashion that has been produced along this stretch of Kenyan coast and we are hoping that it will help inform further research and further policy to mitigate plastic pollution. Plastic is a huge issue as it never decomposes, it just continues to break down into smaller and smaller bits. So while we are looking at microplastics, there are actually even nanoplastics and the extent of the impact that plastic has on ecosystems, um, our entire environment and our human systems is not fully known. So it is extremely important that we think about our own plastic usage and not only it, the convenience that it may appear to have, but the long-term effect that it is having on our environment around us.